And I love introducing right. students to classic films they've never seen, and they think they know the whole story because so they saw they saw the one James Cameron directed, and gee whiz, nobody knows about who wrote the thing, and I can't even quote that off the top of my head because I don't actually like that movie, so I don't study it. But I know the well, 1950s you know, the, one, the Cameron one. Yeah, I, I write it. Uh, I think he may have done. I think we, I, I will have to we we'll have to fact check. Someone fact check us. Um, IMDb. He may have. But I, I'm not a big fan of that movie. Um, and the but the one with Barbara Stanwyck is is really cool. Yes, and, uh, that's a really good version of that. And Brackett got the Oscar for that, so there's reason for the Oscar. And also, it was one of the early movies of a young Robert Wagner. And um, I was a big Robert Wagner when I was a kid, watching his TV shows and whatnot. So seeing him as like a 19 year old, I loved old movies for that reason. You'd see all these actors. In fact, I was I was kind of the geeky kid at my all girl Catholic school, and uh, and there was a kid who always liked to beat up on me, like. Verbally, not physically. Um, and I remember one time she asked me on the bus going to school who my favorite actor was. And without thinking that it would be stupid, I said Jimmy Cagney. And like half the bus didn't know who he was and half that did were like, oh, what's wrong with you? He's 85. And I was like, I mean, from the movies I've seen, he's like really 30 and never mind. Yeah. Brilliant. I love, I love Jimmy Cagney. I like the fact that he was able to do those gangster roles and then musicals and they come back later in life and be like a really gnarly gangster again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When he had done, he had done dancing with his sister on Broadway. So he was really a dancer and that kind of works in the gangster world. Cause there's that bouncy, like you're always a boxer and dancers and boxers have a lot in common. 